she is giving you librarian in a small town Christmas Hallmark movie realness. <laughs> Hi, welcome, come on in. My name is Aoife and today I'm going to take you through some books that I think you should read based on Christmas movies that you might love. I am a huge connoisseur of Christmas movies. I kind of start watching them around mid to late November, which I know for some people is a little bit early, but I feel like the earlier you get into the festive spirit, the longer that celebrating it can last. There's been a couple that have really come across my radar in the last couple of years and I have absolutely loved watching those. But I'm also a big book lover and if there's any books out there that have even the smallest hint of a similar plot, I'm all over it. So I'm going to take a look at some of the books that I have read in the last couple of years, some of the Christmas movies that I loved and see if there's any kind of tandem in there. If you loved The Princess Switch, which features three iterations of Vanessa Hudgens as a baker and as a princess, and I don't know what the third one is because I haven't watched the third one yet, but if you loved The Princess Switch, if you loved the idea of baking, if you loved the idea of light swap kind of stuff, then you are absolutely going to adore The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox. This follows twin sisters, Cass and Charlie, who are identical. There's absolutely zero way to tell them apart. Cass still lives in their hometown and actually runs the family bakery while Charlie is living in Los Angeles and is trying to make her name for herself as a presenter. She's working on a TV show that's kind of like Bake Off and is kind of up for the presenter role of this show. While Charlie is on set one day, she has an accident and loses her sense of taste and smell, which is not ideal when you are working as a baker on one of the country's biggest TV shows. To keep everybody off the scent, lol, Charlie and Cass decide to swap lives. Charlie and Cass are so identical that nobody on the team is going to know that anything has been brought up, like any hijinks kind of stuff. So Charlie goes back to their hometown and takes over running the family bakery, while Cass comes to Los Angeles and puts herself in front of the camera and then has to contend with the really assholey other presenter of the show who is also fighting for this role. While the two sisters are living their new lives, romances do start to develop. For Cass, it's between her and the physician who took a look at Charlie when she first had her accident. And for Charlie, it's a friend of theirs from home who they haven't seen in years. And he has no idea that this is actually Charlie and has been getting really, really close to Cass in the last couple of years. The family sourdough starter is a huge part of this book. So if you are a sourdough connoisseur, you are going to absolutely adore this book. I loved the small town cozy vibes of Starlit Peak and I was absolutely taken away to this little small town American place. And I loved this book so much. I think you are absolutely going to love it if The Princess Witch is your kind of thing. If you loved The Holiday, which stars Cameron Diaz and Kate Winslet swapping houses for Christmas, swapping lives, getting to know Christmas in a new environment, then I really recommend The Christmas Swap by Sandy Barker. This is a very little known romance, but it absolutely deserves a lot more love than it gets. You've got three friends here, Chloe, Jules and Lucy, who all live and come from totally different places across the world. One of them is Australian, one of them is from the US and one of them is British. For Christmas, they decide to swap lives and spend Christmas in each other's houses, in each other's countries. While they're on the road, of course, romances do start to blossom and they start to see that the grass isn't always greener and that sometimes their friends are struggling with things that they had no idea that their friends were struggling with. If the idea of a life swap comedy is something that is absolutely up your street, then you are going to love this one. If you loved the time loop element of 12 Dates of Christmas, which follows Amy Smart and Mark Paul Gossler, then you are going to absolutely adore In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. It's no secret that Christina Lauren is one of my favourite author duos at the moment, but this book is such a good one. Here you're following Mei Lin, who has gone to her family's cabin in Utah for Christmas, and it turns out this is the last Christmas that they're going to be spending there because they're going to be standing the cabin. While she's on her way to bed, Maylin asks the universe to just show her what's going to make her happy. She has an accident on her way out to the car, knocks her head and is thrown straight into a time loop. So May is now celebrating the same Christmas, coming back at the start of the holiday once and over again. There's only one person in the cabin who knows that she's caught in this time loop. And also, 
before the events of the time loop had happened, she had accidentally kissed one of her brother's best friends. The whole book then follows May trying to get out of this time loop and trying to figure out what's going to make her happy. I utterly adored this one. And if you really love the film Groundhog Day as well, you're gonna absolutely adore this. It's a Wonderful Life is by far and away one of my favorite Christmas films. I absolutely love this alternate reality kind of story where you're finding out what kind of an impact you've had on the people that you love, everybody around you, and how much their lives would be different if you weren't there. If you're like me and It's a Wonderful Life is an absolute Christmas viewing staple, then you're going to really love It's a Wonderful Night by Jamie Adamans. This is a retelling, kind of a modernized version with romance included of It's a Wonderful Life. Here, Georgie Bailey runs a charity shop in her hometown. And when she's closing up for an evening one night, she gets a phone call from somebody who is completely despairing. So much so that they are considering jumping off the bridge in the town. She manages to talk to them and she manages to make them see that their life is a lot more valuable than they're putting into it and how much they mean to everybody that they know. The next day, Georgie walks into her local bakery and cafe, orders a latte and realizes that she recognizes the voice that called her. I loved the journey that this book brought me on. It really does show you how much your life impacts other people. And if you, like a lot of people this year, have had a really tough one with restrictions, with coronavirus, if you've suffered from mental health issues, this book will absolutely bring a spine to your face. Okay, this one is a little bit tenuous, but bear with me. If you liked Home Alone, you will really like Stay Another Day by Juno Dawson mainly because the family in Juno Dawson's Stay Another Day have the exact same surname. It doesn't have all the hijinks of a family Christmas in Paris when they've accidentally left behind their youngest son, but it does have three siblings who, for different reasons, Christmas is gonna be a little bit chaotic this year. Fern is bringing her boyfriend to visit her family for the first time and to meet them, but her brother Rowan is much more excited about going out on the pull than staying in and spending Christmas with his family, while their little sister Willow is absolutely terrified about what is to come. I haven't read this one yet, but it has been on my radar for such a long time since I heard it. Juno Dawson touches everything and it turns to gold, so I have absolutely every faith that this is gonna be a phenomenal book. Finally, if you really enjoyed A Christmas Prince and you loved the regality of that and how everything was about the royal family, then I can highly recommend to you Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory. This might be the fourth book in a series, but it's much more a companion series than it is a continuous flowing novel with all of the same characters. So you shouldn't really feel worried about getting lost in the story or not knowing who a character is if you're gonna pick this one up. This gorgeous romance story follows Vivian, whose younger daughter Maddie has been employed by the British royal family to help out over Christmas. Vivian has never been out of the country before, so she decides that she's gonna tag along and kind of get to know what the UK looks like. While she's there, she meets Malcolm, who is the Queen's private secretary, and a really cute holiday romance starts to blossom between the two of those. I absolutely loved this autumn year's romance, and I absolutely recommend it if you're looking for a really cute and cozy Christmas romance this year, with a little bit of a royal twist into it. Those are some of the books that I think you should read based on some of my favorite Christmas films. Are there any that I've missed out, or are there any Christmas films that you think I should watch? Don't forget to like and subscribe because I have new videos up every week. Now, get on out of here.